requirements are capabilities and conditions to which the system, and more broadly, the project, must conform. The requirements are categorized with the following meaning. Functional meaning, features, capabilities, and security. Usability meaning includes human factors, help, and documentation. Reliability meaning, frequency of failure, recoverability, and predictability. Performance covers response times, throughput, accuracy, availability, and resource usage. Supportability comes with adaptability, maintainability, internationalization, and configurability. Usability, reliability, performance, and supportability are collectively called the quality attributes, or quality requirements. Functional requirements of the system are explored and recorded in the use case model. Significant and thorough upfront requirements definition, before moving on to design and implementation, does not represent an accurate view of iterative development. Another pitfall is trying to finalize the requirements before continuing to design in the initial phase, which is not consistent with real world challenges nor well known models of an iterative development. Let's start with basic objectives. The objectives are identifying and specifying required use cases and relating those use cases to user goals and elementary processes of business. Use brief, or casual, or fully dressed format, in an essential style of expression. Relate use case work to iterative development. Use cases are telling stories of somebody using the system. Writing use cases is an excellent technique to understand and describe requirements. Requirements model is a collection of all use cases. This is a model of the system functionality and environment. Consider the following example of a single use case. The name of this use case is process sale. Store customer arrives with items to purchase. At checkout, the cashier uses the point of sale system to record each purchase item. The system presents the running total and each line item details. The cashier enters payment information, which the system validates and records. The system updates inventory. The customer receives a receipt from the system. Finally, the customer leaves store with the purchase items 